this. Now this happens because when it starts sticking, right, so it's because you, it, your contact tip's too close to the work, okay? Because it's fucking hanging out. You see this? You see that distance there? The amount of times I've fucking dealt with this. Can't have this gap here, man. You see this shit? That is why your welding sucks. You cannot just go, oh, oh, it's in this far to be right. When you do the deed, do you put it in? Do you leave this much? No, you don't. You get it all the way in there, you little... All right. I've calmed down a bit now. So, for clarity, um, and this is another reason why I don't like the uh, the new MIG types where it's all screw on, because you try and get the shroud off and the whole fucking thing comes apart. So, shit idea, uh, everyone. Please stop doing that. Please stop selling that model. It's terrible. Okay, so your, your contact tip should be hanging inside the shroud for about five mil. Otherwise, you're gonna have this, all right? and it's gonna cause you a lot of shit. And you gotta burn through contact tips and you gotta go, oh, the welding gun's fucked. No, it's not. You have to pay attention. These are screwed all the way in. And that, and, and look, another trick is if you really have to get by, you can, you can, you can tighten these up, give it a whack so that then you have, make your gap here, okay? Make it there so that then you get your, your hang in. So at least for, if you need to, you know, limp by and get by and do, to do what you're doing until your boss gets off his ass and buys some contact ticks, or you go and get them yourself, whatever happens first. But yes, it has to hang inside the shroud about five mil. If it doesn't, you're going to get this shit. It's gonna stick to your tip and you're gonna blame the gun. One more thing actually, while we're at it, the element of copper expands, okay? When it, when it heats up, I'm, I'm not sure what the coefficient is, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It expands. So if you have a, a 0.9 tip or a 1.2, depending on what, uh, why you're running, you, you basically, in summary, you go from a hole like that and, and, what, and when it starts to expand, it starts to go like that. So you either replace the tip or you bore it out. I usually get it, well, when I'm running low and I don't have time to go to the fucking shops, get the tips, blah, blah, blah. If I've just got a few wells I'm getting by, I'll just get the oxy cleaning tips and or if you're really ambitious, you can, you can drill it out using a drill bit. I mean, copper is pretty soft, so it goes through okay. But if you start to get that, like that, that annoying sticking and you're getting this shit, it's one of two things. Either your, the, the hole has closed up and you've been using it a lot, it's very hot and it's a bit worn out, so probably time to replace it. Or, and more often than not, uh, this, the copper bit, has expanded to the point where the it won't allow the thread of the, the tip to go all the way in. So everyone just leaves this cute little <laughs> gap here uh, that, that then just burns through tips and makes welding shit. So, that, so those are your two things, okay? Look out for those and you'll keep yourself out of a lot of trouble.